My name is Todd Green. I'm with Premier, and I want to talk to you today about what to do if your teeth are digging in the dirt with your wheel rake. You can see we have the VR1224 wheel rake here with us today, and we start with this issue by talking about the level of the rake and are we level at the hitch. So our first point is to take a look right here, and you can see we build this with an adjustable hitch. And the reason we do that is because in the owner's manual, we tell you we want between 10 and 12 inches of clearance between the bottom of the hitch here to the ground. And when we start at that point, that gives us an even uh, distribution of weight and pressure from the front to the back of the rake. Okay, as you can see, we've got 14 inches from the ground to the bottom of our hitch. And remember in the owner's manual, it tells you we want between 10 and 12 inches. So we're too tall. We've got too much height between the bottom here to the ground. So how do we change that? Well, we'll install the jack on the tongue here and by doing that, we're gonna take all the weight off the hitch. We're gonna pull this pin and this pin, unhook the, the pin from the drawbar. And what we'll do is raise this hitch up at least one hole. And by doing that, that decreases the distance between the bottom of the hitch and the ground. All right, so we wanna raise this hitch now because again, our distance from here to the ground is too, too tall, or too tall, too high. So what we do is pull this, these hairpins out, pull these pins out, and then we're gonna raise it up one hole. Put our pins back in it. And again, by doing that now, we've raised the hitch and lowered the distance between the bottom of the tongue to the ground. Okay, so we've made the adjustment to our hitch. And again, we want it to be between 10 and 12 inches, and you can see we're right at 12 inches at this point. So we're good here at the hitch. This is what we're after. So we've talked about our hitch, and now we're gonna think about what are the reasons might be causing our teeth to dig in the ground on this wheel rake. And we gotta start thinking about how much pressure we're putting on each of the rake wheels. You can see we've got a range of holes to choose from, and the decal explains as you go from lighter to heavier. And so our next step then would be to choose a setting here and decide what setting works best for the field condition we're in, and that's what we'll do next. You can see by the way the wheels in the front are really digging into the ground, that our pressure is not set correctly. And also you can see the wheels in the back trying to ride up, and that's another indication that we have not got the correct pressure on the rate. So when we talk about ground pressure on the VR1224, we make that adjustment here, and you can see with the decal that we start in the top hole is our lightest setting, and as we move down, it goes even heavier. So as we think about why our teeth might be digging in the ground, this is sure a setting that we need to pay attention to. Depending on your field conditions, crop type, all those things may dictate where this setting winds up. But if we're having an issue, this is an awfully good place to, to look as well. So we're at a point now we're ready to make an adjustment on the ground pressure of our rake wheels. And we do that here on the VR1224 by just moving this pin. We've got our locking gauge. We've got our rake wing picked up off the ground, so there's no pressure here. And all we have to do, as you can see by the decal here, the lightest settings are at the top, the heavier ones at the bottom. So if our rake wheels are digging in the ground, this is a great place to come and make an adjustment. And I like to start kind of right here in the middle especially if this rake's going out for the first time or if we're having an issue, and that gives us a, a range to work from either a lighter or heavier. You can see we've made the adjustment to the tongue, the hitch of the rake. We've also adjusted the pressure on the wheels. And as the rake's moving through the field, our goal now is to have equal pressure from front to back. And you can see we've achieved that. The wheels have about the same amount of tooth deflection all the way from the front to the back of the rake. 